It is one of the most well-known fossils in the world. You have only 12 Archaeopteryx. It's not so common to have a complete specimen. We thought that it was the first bird of Earth's history, but today we think that this is a dinosaur with feathers. You have parts that clearly relate to birds and other ones clearly relating to dinosaurs. So for example, you still have teeth, but you also have big claws on the arms. You have complete fingers. All these things are reduced after in the real birds. So these characters are clearly from dinosaurs. We want uh, to know how lived Archaeopteryx. Was he a was he little dinosaur running and then climbing in trees and they can fly? The most important question for us is, could Archaeopteryx fly or not? Could he fly? All these fossils, as you can see, are very flat. And it's extremely difficult to have information uh, out of the surface. You can see many things, but you have a lot of information inside the fossil. And so that's why the specimens are coming here. We use the very powerful X-rays from the synchrotron. We make what we call a slice beam. So you have to imagine it's a, it's a beam that is nearly the thickness of a human hair, on about uh, 10 centimeters in width, but extremely powerful. So if you are in the front of this beam, you are killed in just a few seconds. So such kind of beam uh, has a very interesting properties. It's as it goes through the sample, you have diffusion of the X-rays, and this diffusion of the X-rays can be detected with what we call a camera obscura system. So it's a very small hole in a piece of lead, and through this hole, you will create a picture directly on the detector that after you can reconstruct in three dimensions. What appears really clearer, the, the vertebrae are very clear. Yes. And even look, uh, if you look on the femurs, you can really see good details. The topology yes. itself yeah. is far stronger, but the impressive thing are the, the feather. You see them here. But the bones here in this position are very clear. Yeah. Uh, more, more than, you cannot see anything there. No, no, for sure. What is good is even if I change the, li the lighting, we still see the feather. So it really means that the, they are more visible in the data than in the natural state. We have very good uh, results with a lot of details of our uh, specimens. In former times, the visitors in our uh, mu museum, they cannot understand the fossil. And now we can see the whole wings and we see that this is a very fine uh, specimen of Archaeopteryx. What is really visible here are the feathers. They are far more visible than with the original specimen. You can see on the original one, they are very difficult to see. But that's not all, because this technique reveals a lot of information about anatomy that is not visible because it is below the surface. And so we are using this uh, very powerful X-rays to investigate the anatomy in a way that we can better understand what was really the Archaeopteryx and its position between the dinosaur and the birds.